Hello and welcome back to a, well, very messy Sen City, but today that is not too much of an issue because we are resetting the 45 degree training board. So the 45 degree has been the same for about one and a half, two years now, touching around that area. Um, and it's just in need of a refresh, if I'm honest. It's been the same, I've been climbing on it loads and it's great fun. But I put a poll out um, to the people that do climb down here regularly to see what their thoughts were with resetting this thing. Um, I either said, keep it the same, reset, or add volumes to it and make it not a training board. They came back to me quite quickly and said, maybe reset it. So that is what we're here to do. So the first thing we need to do is take off all of the holds and start again. So this is my normal setup when I reset. I have my box that I put all of the holds and bolts in. As I take them off, they go into here. Then I take the box, I bring them round, and for this time, as we have got a training board, we need to kind of think about where we put in holds a little bit more. I've separated all the holds into their different groups. So we got large pinches, we got pockets, uh, the unusual jugs, crimps, large shapes, and screw fit holds just here. So what I'll do is I'll take them off um, bit by bit, fill the box up, bring it around, sort them out, and then it makes it all nice and easy for when we've got an empty blank space and we can just whack all the holds back on and I can organize where I want each one to go because um, I basically want to have um, an even amount dotted around the wall so then you have a really, really nice training area to throw yourself about on. Oh my days, that is a lot of holds. Um, I, I genuinely can't believe how many there are out there. Um, I kind of struggle to put them all on the mats here, as you can tell, but we have organized them into pinches, pockets, um, and little nubbin hold things here. Lots of jugs here, big shapes at the back, and we have the crimps as well. Um, so yeah, it's gonna make it nice and easy to like select which holds I want and put where, so that's all nice and good. Um, but look at that, that is absolutely astonishing. Um, lots of chalk on the wall from lots of training sessions. It's pretty cool, we'll keep that how it is. Um, yeah, it's amazing to see a blank wall. Um, as I've mentioned before, I don't know what it is about blank climbing walls, but there is something so attractive about it. I don't know, I don't know why, but damn, I am kind of blown away right now. But it is time to start placing holds. So I think we'll start, um, actually what we normally do is I'm gonna start with a little jug run because it's important to have some kind of warm up run on, on this board anyway, um, as it's not wooden holds. Um, well, it's mainly, mainly big holds like this. But um, we have these, I don't know why, but I call these tiger holds. Um, they're green and red, no idea why I call them tiger holds, but I had a nice little route up with these before. So we'll start off with a route with these. All the holds here. Um, this amazing looking hold. Um, I've come up with an idea of using it as an undercling and you kind of like stand up into it and hold it like this and you have to reach a big move. So we'll put this on first and then go from there. Hold. Whoa, ho, 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 tasty. What am I like? I'm sorry, but this is this is too funny. This is my favourite hold, and if you've got a dirty mind, uh, I'm sure it's yours too. But that shadow, oh my god, too much. Little Costa coffee break with the lattes. This machine comes very handy, I can tell you that. We 
we are finished look at that that is looking absolutely incredible so all of the holds that i've been wanting to put up are now done so i'll give you a quick run through from the bottom as you can see i've got a nice selection of crimps underclings pinches a couple weird holds all the way up to the top absolutely lovely